Hello everyone and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Odyssey Let's Play. Today we continue our adventure with Ostracized. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange him with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Alright, let's call up our trusty companion here and see if we can actually locate exactly how much military we have in this little mint area. Does look to be quite a bit, so obviously it's going to be a little tricky, but nonetheless, it looks like once we actually gain access, for the most part, we shouldn't run into too many difficulties, it's looking like. Obviously, military presence kind of out and about, but truly not a whole lot of actual guards that are kind of out on their own routines necessarily. Now we do need to be a little bit careful here considering that while there isn't a lot of movement there's obviously just enough to make things a little bit more tricky than if they were just kind of sleeping or something like that. Now we are coming up on one of our areas over here. I'm going to try to drop down behind this guy, but fortunately having a little bit of difficulties here. I had to exterminate that guy just because he was uh, looking at me a little funny. I didn't appreciate it. Now we do also have the other one on the other side, so of course we're going to have to venture all the way over there before very long. Now before we do that, we'll make sure to kind of set the place ablaze a little bit, try to draw some attention over here. Do need to be a little bit careful of that guard though, he's actually in a really peculiar area. Now it does look to be that we actually need to go down to the ground level. Of course that guy is still in the same spot that we left him several moments ago. So of course might have to sneak down there and just knife him right in the throat. But I'm going to try not to do that. Fortunately this guy has detected us. However his detection is only as good as his ability to predict my ability to teleport over to him. Fortunately, the angle with that guy is a little tricky here, so obviously we're just going to take care of him as quick as possible. That should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Anaxagoras is to be ostracized.
Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? I'm not responsible for his actions. I have one thing to think about, my own. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Thank <laughs> you.